Hey guys, today we're going to explain the full childhood of Shigaraki, the crustiest villain in My Hero Academia and the successor to All For One. And if you only watched the anime and would rather wait like one or two years to find out this information, then please exit this video, but check out some of my other spoiler free content. Oh, and also don't forget to subscribe. So Shigaraki is the grandson of Nanashimura, who was a powerful hero and master to a certain symbol of peace. His actual legal name is Tenko Shimura, and as a child he lived with his parents, his sister and his grandparents, though obviously his grandparents on the other side of his family. Now this household was somewhat dysfunctional, given that Shigaraki's father had an intense hatred for heroes. This hatred was born out of the fact that his mother, Nanashimura, had died whilst fighting all for one when he was just a young boy. But despite his father's ideology, young Tenko had a fascination with heroes and held dreams of becoming one. In fact, he even went as far as to say that his father's rules regarding heroes denied him everything that he was. Those are the words of someone who really, really wants to be a hero. This fascination led to Shigaraki being frequently beaten, locked outside the house, and generally just being made to feel worthless. Also, despite being of the age, Tenko never appeared to manifest any quirk, at least until he was brought home one day by this guy in a suit. Hmm. After this, Tenko's sister discovered a picture revealing that their grandmother was a hero, something which made Shigaraki incredibly happy. But when their father discovered that someone had tampered with the picture, Shigaraki's sister essentially just framed him. I mean, I guess that's what siblings do all the time. You don't want to get in trouble, so you kind of just say your sibling did it. But in this case, that was definitely the wrong move to make, as the subsequent beating that Tenko received was so severe that it really kind of got the ball rolling regarding his quirk activating. So whilst he was recovering from this beating from his dad, he innocently hugged his pet dog and then out of nowhere the dog's body just like decays into a bloody mess all over the floor so naturally this would be quite confusing for a young child to witness then just as Tenko is kind of coming to grips with what has just happened his sister comes outside to apologize for framing him only to see the dead dog on the floor and in his confusion Tenko grabs onto his sister only for her to burst into a million pieces he then puts his hands on the ground instead but this makes it even worse as the ground itself begins to quake killing off anyone who dares to step outside. This happened repeatedly over and over again to his mother, his grandparents, until only one member of his family remained his dad. Now when his father finally stepped outside to see what all the commotion was about, he realised that he had messed up. Despite Tenko's dad trying to apologise, he intentionally jumped towards his dad and grabbed him in the face, killing him instantly. So this was the first manifestation of Shigaraki's decay quirk, and unlike what we've seen in the anime, it was actually activated on things that he wasn't directly touching, because for the vast majority of his family, he didn't actually make contact with them, but rather he made contact with the ground, and then because they happened to step outside onto the ground, they themselves decayed. So this is like his normal quirk that we know, just on steroids. So after this incident, Tenko was orphaned and homeless, being left to fend for himself on the streets of Japan. Not once did anyone stop to help him, except for this old lady, but she kind of got creeped out by his crusty eyes. No one stopped to help him because they assumed that a hero would naturally deal with the situation. This led to him being ignored completely until All For One showed up. All For One used this incident, the fact that no one came to help him, to stimulate Tenko's newfound hatred for hero society. Tenko was then given the disembodied hands of his family members to manipulate him into never forgetting the negative emotions he felt at that moment when he killed them. All for one then gave him a home with the intention that he would one day take over the League of Villains and become the symbol of fear, renaming the boy from Tenko Shimura to Tomura Shigaraki. Now the name Tomura in this context essentially means to signify the sadness that comes with death. And the last name Shigaraki, this is actually quite interesting, it is the last name of All For One himself. So we finally have some personal details about All For One. Also, I forgot to mention, when Shigaraki was fending for himself on the streets, there were these two guys who were basically being complete dicks to him. And once All For One found him, he basically convinced Shigaraki to let go and just go back and kill them. Which is what I call excellent parenting. Remember, he's still a young kid, he's like 5 or 6 if, if I remember correctly. And there you have it, that was Shigaraki's entire childhood that we know so far, explained. And actually, within the next few weeks, most likely next week, I'm going to be putting out a My Villain Academia explainer video, where I'm going to be going through the entire arc, all the chapters, from beginning to end, in less than 10 minutes. So think of it as a chapter review, just on a massive scale. And just before you go, please don't forget to subscribe, I have new videos every week, thank you guys, peace.